So today we're going to learn how to make art in GNM code. So I've got a couple examples, and I'll show you really how easy it is. Um, let's use Julia's example. She's going to do. Uh, is this a Pac-Man character? Well, it's just a ghost, but yeah. Okay, it's a ghost. Julia's ghost. And you take a look. If you can't see this on your computer screen, take a look on somebody who's, who's it's working, okay? So you take a look. There's an arc from A to B. And she's also labeled the letter N. And there's uh, an arc from P to Q. And she's labeled the center as letter V. If you remember, when we learned about GNM code, you have to know the center for an arc in order to produce it. And when we make it on the, the ProLight 1000, the machine that we have in our classroom, we're going to do that using the arc and the end point and the center point. So notice she's got a P, a Q, and an R. So let's say we start at P and we go to Q around letter V. How do we do that? What kind of arc is that? From P to Q is what kind of arc? Clockwise. That would be clockwise, a quarter arc clockwise, right? So what code is clockwise? Look, look it up. G02. Okay, so it's a G02. What if I wanted to go from Q to P? It would be counterclockwise, and you just make it a G03. Okay, and if you notice over here on the side, um, Julia's got for P, Q, and V, she has all the dimensions, all the XY coordinates for those three. So here are the rules. So if we take these rules, and if we want to do a counterclockwise circular interpolation, what does that mean? Counterclockwise, we want to go from Q to P around the letter V. Okay? We're going to put our, in our block of code, we're going to put our end number, then a counterclockwise arc, which would be a G03. Then we have to put the XY value where you want to end. Notice where you want to end. The machine is already at a point in the, in the last line of code on N69, you told it where to go. It's there already. So you have to tell it where you want to end. So in this picture, what letter do we want to end on, P, Q, or V? We want to end at P, very good. So we'd put the X, Y value of P, which in this, in this case is 0.875 and 1.5. Then what's this IJ thing at the end? The IJ is the x, y value of the center point around which that arc goes. So if that's the x, y value of the center point, what letter are we going to use for those values? The letter V, correct. So we go to the letter V, we find out what the x, y coordinates are for V. We change those out in this one where it says i, j. But notice the note down here. It says the letters i and j are used because you can't have two x's and y's on the same block of code. So the i and the j, all that means is it's the x, y value of the center point. Make sense? So look at the CNC motion example, this example, Mary Dexter's MD. All right, here's line N70. It's a G3. It's a counterclockwise circular interpolation. So where is she starting on this letter D? Is she starting here or here? Bottom. She's starting at the bottom. How do you know that? because it's a counterclockwise interpolation. Where's the center of this letter D? It's in the middle of that line. Very good. Okay, so if you do a quarter circle or a half circle, it's really easy to do because you know where the centers are. Does anybody have any questions? No. Marvelous, nice work. 